Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another wardrobe update. Right off the bat, you can probably tell that I'm back home in my Zurich flat after my nine week stay in London. So I have quite a lot of things I want to talk about and you know me, that's probably gonna take us a while. So grab your drink of choice if you haven't already and let's get into it. I did do a wardrobe update one month into London. So there are uh, things new in my wardrobe from London that you know we're not gonna get into. So if you haven't seen that updates already, there are like multiple other pieces in there, but I'm just gonna assume that everyone has. And of course, as always, just pick up uh, where we left off and what I have bought since then, I actually think I mentioned this a little bit in another video, but it hasn't been included in a wardrobe update yet, so I'm still gonna get into it. And that is my brown wool jacket cut with polyester from Sarah. So I did actually already talk about this in the last wardrobe update, but I hadn't decided on buying it yet, but I thought it over and I just really wanted to add it. I find this kind of interesting and I am gonna make another video where I talk about London versus Cirque style, but this is the second cropped jacket that I bought while I was there, or I bought two jackets when I was there and they were both cropped. And I think I just pretty quickly, sorry, I think I just pretty quickly uh, picked up on the fact, both like consciously, but also subconsciously that cropped jackets are definitely the thing in London because that was sort of like what my taste really quickly started revolving around. And when you think about the jackets that I have here, they're all coats, they're all long or they are all blazers and blazers are not cropped or at the very least not the ones that I have. And even the most recent uh, denim jacket that I bought here in Zurich, I actually bought two, I suppose, if you count the trench coat, but uh, they are also both like, not or neither are cropped. So I added this cropped jacket and I'm not gonna lie, I have been really, really loving it. Have already been wearing it a ton. I've talked about this recently and also multi multiple times before. When something is made 100% from polyester and also sometimes when it's cut, you can just tell and it's not necessarily the best look, but with just uh, with this jacket, you just can't. I'm not gonna lie, it's just not as comfortable as one of some of the things that I have that are 100% wool or cashmere. I think that sort of like makes sense, but for what it is, I do still just like really like it. And brown is something that has sort of like taken over my wardrobe as one of my favorite neutrals over the past like year, year and a half. And this brown really aligns with the other things that I have in brown, which is this sort of like cool toned brown, but also something that is leaning rather green in hue rather than red. Because this season there is so much brown all around, but it's all this like chocolatey brown, which basically has a lot of like red tint to it. And that's not really my brown and this jacket is just like perfect. I also think it just looks really expensive and it goes really well with a bunch of outfits I can make in my wardrobe. So the next thing that I bought is a black turtleneck. This one is a 50-50% cotton uh, model mix and it's from the Danish brand Samsung. I have been looking for a black thin fitted turtleneck to take over the ones that I have had from H&M for like three four years now because those ones are just like they're not like the, the thing that bothers me about them basically is just like the neck. The neck is so loose you can't even really call it a turtleneck and the Samsung turtleneck that I bought, basically it just has like borderline the perfect neck and I can't believe it took me this long to find a turtleneck that I really like. And I think something that it really, um, no, actually I'm gonna get into something more about that a little bit later. But anyway, I finally find found one that I like. I know that Samsung is not necessarily that easy to get uh, on your hands on, like depending on where you live. But of course I'm gonna leave a link down below regardless. Then I brought something else that has like so quickly become like a stable within my wardrobe and it is a denim skirt from Zara. This is not your typical denim skirt. It definitely has a little bit of a different look to it. It's also not high waisted. It is sort of like meant to be like a mid or low waist, which is usually not my thing, but I'm starting to think that it probably should become my thing a little bit. I think to a certain extent, it just suits my body a little bit better when things aren't like ultra high waisted, which is very uh, different from what I used to say, but you know, you have an opinion until you have a new one. And my opinion on that is cha changing. Anyway, it is this really dark borderline navy denim that I have just gotten like really into. It's also the same color as the jacket. In fact, the 
skirt and the jacket go like really well together. It looks like they were made from each other. So that is definitely a new outfit for the folder for me that I have been wearing quite a few times. But I'm also wearing this skirt with everything else. I'm actually wearing it right now with this sweater as well. It's just such a cute look, regardless of whether I tuck something into it or not. And a skirt is my favorite bottom to wear. And I just don't have a lot of skirts that I really like and enjoy. The ones that I always wear are the two black ones, the one from part two and another stories and even though they have like quite of a different look to each other they're still like similar enough that you know whenever I wear a skirt then it's more or less like the exact same outfit so having something that's like vastly different in design is just really nice and yeah I mean I kind of get into like some of the outfits I'm making with it in another video but basically it's just a new like stable or like basic piece at least within my wardrobe but that is more elevated than the most basic pieces if that makes any sense and then yes the next thing I added is this sweater from and other stories this is 100% wool and I will say it's like quite thick and like structured I think the only reason I really say that is because I'm so used to cashmere sweaters which are so soft and like almost rather like flimsy and I have been on the cashmere wagon for a really long time I have quite a few pieces in cashmere now like I have like a lot of sweaters at some point I made like a thing out of trying to get like a cashmere sweater in every color from my uh, color scheme and I'm quite far into that mission but I'm gonna like ease up on it a little bit now because you know all of these sweaters they're rather like tight fitted they make for a certain type of outfit and that's an outfit I'm gonna continue to wear also this season but I need something that's kind of like a different look now or at least I'm opening up to that and this sweater is kind of uh, loose it's very loose fitted and the turtleneck again like that's what's really structured about it it has this like slit in the neck so that it yeah I don't know it just sits really beautifully and then I think most importantly the sweater is so large that it's definitely not made to be tucked into anything so that means I just let it hang loose uh, over like whatever I'm wearing which is usually a skirt either like the denim or the the black one and I'm also gonna figure out some other outfits with it but again you know we'll get into that some other times but basically I have been living in this sweater since I found it I'm gonna uh, try my best to like not really add too many sweaters this season if I can because you know like a really good sweater you can really live in it and of course I don't want to wear the same thing like every single day but I do also have other things to wear but anyway like if you're looking for a sweater like this this one is definitely really nice it's in really great quality like the pilling is so minimal I know they also have it in black which that would actually be really nice I am considering getting it in black and then they also have it in an eggshell or like ivory right white um, it's definitely not for cool toned ladies like it's way too warm for me but for those of you with like warm tone wardrobes that is definitely a really great option so of course as always like I'm linking to everything in the description so you can go and have a look then I bought something that I really only want to like gloss over because I have a tendency to just like get so into detail about everything but I bought a pair of trainers from Sarah while I was in London this is definitely one of those things where you want to like or I want to like feel stylish and fit in wherever I am and everyone was just wearing trainers so it felt so appropriate I had already brought my converse which they got me so far but then I went for a walk in like the park on a rainy day and completely trashed them and I did try to save them but like I've I had to throw them out I didn't even bring them back home so I bought these trainers instead and they're quite comfortable not gonna lie they do look quite good but they're made from plastic so they're not gonna hold up forever and like on top of that or I mean like what I'm trying to say basically is that they're really not breathable and as someone who's used to like exclusively like canvas or leather footwear it's a really strange feeling when your feet are like overheating a little bit it's not directly uncomfortable but I can just sense it it's not it's not the best so of course I am gonna I also didn't pay that much for them I'm gonna wear them whenever like I need trainers here but um, yeah it's just a little addition and actually I still have a pair of old Converse here for when I really need them I was just using these for like lifting weights in but now whenever I need conver Converse I am gonna wear those until I find a pair of sneakers or trainers to take over then I do want to talk about one more thing that I 
bought and it is uh, an accessory which I tend to not really talk about on the channel at all like whether it be like uh, jewelry just as a rule of thumb at least or yeah types of accessories I just I'm not really com I don't really feel compelled to chat about it it's definitely because like I don't count the cost per wear of things like this like I just never really uh, saw the point in it one but also two it's like if I add having to do that as well every day I think it just becomes a little bit tedious and one of the reasons I'm able to track what I wear every single day is because I still find it entertaining all these years later so I tend to not really want to yeah like talk about accessories because I just don't count the wear and because I don't do that then I don't have like an exact track uh, of things durability and I just don't find it as interesting but I still really wanted to talk about <laughs> these hair cloths especially one that I bought they are from a Danish brand called Monestein which means moonstone and actually had already seen this butterfly huge butterfly hair cloth that I ended up buying while I was in London I already seen it back in Denmark but it's so expensive it's like 40 bucks for a hair cloth that I didn't want to like I just I couldn't talk myself into it but then since then even though that was like almost a year ago I saw it the first time I still have been thinking about it and then on top of that I ended up buying these like uh, hair clothes that had so sort of like a similar vibe with like some butterflies on them and uh, some rhinestones and stuff like that but uh, both of them broke and they were cheaper but they weren't cheap and then the hair cloth that I bought now is like made from like acetate uh, or I actually don't know if it's a very durable type of plastic okay I don't know what it's named in English exactly actually and then also for example like the little like spring is made from uh, stainless steel so basically they're really high-end and you have like a pretty long warranty on them as well so I ended up buying it and I think it's just like so cute because like for the most part I like to wear clothes that sort of like rather like clean lines and not over the top and it's just nice to have some accessories to sort of like you know sprinkle uh, a little bit of a different like vibe into my look and oh my god I have really been enjoying the big butterfly one and then I also use the other one that I've also I mean I'm showing a picture of it here like depending on what type of hairstyle I have that day so yeah I'm gonna link to that as well as always just wanted to share really quickly because I have been like legitimately so excited now that I finally went ahead and like bought it for myself you know I love hair accessories and I wear hair accessories like scrunchies and hair clothes all the time so like you know why why not then I was actually going to talk about basically just like the things I've been wearing in London and just like the differences in styles but I am gonna make a different video speaking just only about that because there is so much to talk about I feel like if I start talking about that now we are going to be here forever so instead I just want to talk about like my general thoughts and feelings about my wardrobe now that I have returned after this like break and how it has you know having been affected by this break living in another country with like a significantly different style and it is you know I went to London with one suitcase and then of course also a carry-on but I also needed to bring a bunch of stuff that wasn't clothes so I think more or less yeah I did end up uh, bringing a suitcase uh, full of stuff for this one month and then I knew there was going to be like a season change I ended up bringing literally seven jackets because you know I'm such a uh, jacket person and I also brought uh, quite a lot of different pairs of shoes and even though I ended up bringing you know only a fraction of my actual wardrobe I ended up wearing only a fraction of that anyway and that is just like so wild so I knew I was gonna come home, come home to Zurich and it was gonna be quite cold so of course I didn't really have time to like really miss anything in my wardrobe because there was gonna be like a season change there anyway but now that I'm back of course like I'm grabbing the few things that like oh you know I've missed this but I haven't really missed anything actually I never I didn't have the time or like the occasion to miss or need some of the things that I had at home basically my entire point is all of the stuff I have is just like I could easily live without it and how wild is that it has really even further than was already the case because I feel like I'm already pretty aware of these things but now that I'm here with my wardrobe oh my god there is like so much within it that I just like I don't care about I don't need and it has really like shifted my perspective on like what to buy going forward so I think one way I really am starting to like think and realize about this is like basically it's how we tend to like collect things and I think a lot of us probably do this with our wardrobe 
wardrobe I'm not any different like I've definitely curated the way that I do that and I have a more like you know I have some guidelines that I follow in order to like buy something and I think I'm doing pretty well for the most part but then even then like most of it is just like it's just one for the collection so like so for example as i already went into regarding this sweater i have this collection of cashmere sweaters in different colors so i have like you know a baby blue one now i have my hot pink one i have yeah a bunch bunch of other different colors but like why am i so busy trying to add these like outlying pieces to make a beautiful collection when what I really need is like a black cashmere sweater. Like I literally don't even have that and black is something I wear all the time. I really love wearing black and it doesn't even have to be just black. Like this is also another good example. Like I'm definitely gonna get a lot, a lot of wear out of this because it is just more neutral and it is just more appropriate for everyday wear. <laughs> Or at least in terms of like appropriate for my style just you know i want to focus on adding some of these pieces that i am basically wearing like all the time instead of being so focused on getting these like occasional outliers even if i truly do wear them like for example the baby blue cashmere sweater I think I have already worn that like 10 or 12 times actually now I'm just like making stuff up because I don't truly really know actually we're here anyway so why not just have a look I mean yeah okay it's not bad you know because yes I have worn it 14 days so far and then the pink one yeah I've worn that 12 days so far you know actually maybe I'm being a little bit needlessly hard on myself my point is i am wearing these things but going forward i need to really focus on the things that i could wear all the time because you know i went to london and all i really wanted to wear is like my black turtleneck my gray turtleneck my white turtleneck um so yeah focus on these pieces that i already know that i i wear and that make up these like basically what i mean is that it wouldn't be such a disaster to have like three different black sweaters or to have another one in gray. Actually, I already do. And like, for example, the next time I'm adding a coat, maybe like just add the one in black or add some other type of like neutral because I tend to, yeah, again, I tend to want to add these like outliers, you know, first I have a gray coat and then instead of like add adding a black coat, then I get a navy one. And then instead of adding the black one, then I get a brown one. Like I tend to extend my wardrobe onto the sides so that I have all of the outliers to pick from where I really need to like finish on making the core now because that's what I'm gonna need. So anyways, there are some things that I have bought that I feel like are completely needless that I have. And like a really good example is a like pink skirt that I bought. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, why did I buy that? And yes, I did wear it like a couple of times, but I'm actually really surprised that none of you guys gave me like a hard time about it. I don't know. I feel like I know you guys pretty well at this point and I can already envision like a couple of comments saying stuff like, oh, but you know, you've enjoyed it. You've been happy with it. So yeah, maybe the point is that it wasn't in vain but that that season is over and now is the season of buying the core neutral basic pieces that i want to wear all the time instead of the outliers maybe that's just what it is so yeah there are things that i want to then focus on getting now like my wish list as a result is also changing a little bit like i'm really thinking like what do i really need I actually think i was already kind of up track with that already um also because as always you are just or i am just gonna add some things like once in a while you will find something out and about that you want to add and i'm gonna be mindful of everything that i've just talked about out, but you know that's still gonna happen like I'm still gonna see something and be like you know I really want to buy that but I am gonna take a step back to a certain extent and then focus on eventually adding some pieces that are more like intentional within my wardrobe so something that I really want to buy and this is sort of like a new idea that that builds on an old idea and it is knee-high boots knee-high boots are very on trend right now but it's also like an evergreen type of piece you know that goes in and out of style all the time it's sort of like a classic so i'm going to look for like the perfect pair of knee-high boots and then add those instead of 
focusing on getting like another pair of ankle high boots right now because I already have two pairs in theory I actually have three but the third pair you almost never see because it's taller um, and I just had both of the pairs taken to a cobbler so they're definitely able to like um, take me a little bit further so yeah I am gonna add a or I'm gonna try and see if I can add a pair of knee-high boots instead it goes really really well and it keeps me a little bit warmer um, with skirts because again skirts is something that I wear so often and even in the winter and actually I'm also gonna try and see if I can get those like thermal um, tights so that I can yeah appear to be wearing like tights all winter then I have one more thing actually which is that I met one of you. I just wanted to share this story now that I'm home from London. I think it's kind of cute. So I was in London and I was sussing out gyms in the area that I lived in, which by the way, I was living in Battersea. Now I can mention that because I'm, you know, it was just temporary. I'm not gonna necessarily go back there, but I was living in this area and it was really cute. And then one day I needed to go like check out one of the gyms in my area. And because the front of the gym had a cafe, I couldn't figure out where the gym was because that's definitely not really the case here in Zurich. I've never really seen that before so I went next door to the address next door and that was like a grocery store and there was like a woman my age standing near the tills so I went over to her and asked her if she lived in the area and just like asked her if she knew that there was a uh, where the gym next door was and she looked at me so the way she looked at me it was sort of like she looked a little bit shocked at me and I was a little bit confused I didn't think that what I was asking was so weird but then, you know, first she like answered my question and then she was like, I'm sorry, but like, don't you have a YouTube channel? And I was like, yes. And then she told me she just watched the video uh, right before I had gone to, to London. And she was like, it's so weird. Like I just watched this video knowing that you were gonna come here for two months and like, here you are. And it's just like, it's so weird because I have been uh, approached a couple of times, but obviously like she didn't approach me. I approached her. It must have been such a weird uh, experience. And we were gonna gotta go for coffee, but I never got around to it. So if you're watching this, then I'm really sorry about that. And it was very nice to meet you. I actually think that was all I had to talk about this time around that I don't already wanna include in other videos. And I have so many good ideas for videos coming up. I definitely feel re-energized to post more on the channel. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like so that I know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!